Hey guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway on my business page and there are two more days to enter, so check the description box for the link. another video today it is episode three of my life of an entrepreneur so if y'all watch my last two videos y'all know i like to get straight to the facts straight to the tits all right y'all so um in the last video we were talking about um uh, we were talking about the vendors or whatever. And the last thing you did was order your sample packaging. And you received your sample packaging and you were happy with it. So this is the vendor that you're gonna stick with. Now that you have your vendor decided on, um, you like their products, you like the packaging, think about planning and budgeting. So, by that, I mean like what needs to be bought, what has already been paid for, how much have you spent, what else needs to be done. With you keeping track of all this stuff, you'll be able, you'll be able to know what you need to price your items at once you um once you launch. And not even that is good to it's good to keep track anyway. But um once you know like how much you spent and how much you still have to spend, you will know like how long it'll take for you to start profiting off of what you invested in. But that is very important. Planning and budgeting is very important. And after you got all that stuff in order, you probably want to keep this in your notebook. Everything is really going to go back to the notebook. So if you watch episode one, watch episode one, make sure you get a damn notebook or two or three or four or five, whatever you need to do. You want to think about um, how much inventory you want to start with. And I suggest starting off small because you don't want to put too much on your plate and then have to waste what you don't want to eat no more, if you get what I'm saying. Because like, say you buy, you uh, your business is lashes and you buy 500 lashes and you have five different styles, a hundred of this lash, but that lash isn't so good. So now you just have a hundred of those that you have to get rid of. Even if that means coming down on your prices, you still are like, oh dang, no one's buying this and I have so many of them. It's gonna, it's gonna put more stress on you. So you wanna start off small because you don't wanna spend a whole lot on inventory and it doesn't sell so with starting off small you save money and you are being safe because you can always go and order more but if something isn't selling it's just sitting there that's money that you wasted that's why it's important to look at the mlq because you won't even have to buy that many if they have a low minimum order quantity i know for like custom packaging it's a minimum order that's like 100 i think Cause I had to order at least a hundred boxes, but they didn't, my vendor didn't have a um, MLQ for lashes. So I paid what I had to pay for my boxes. The lashes, I just started off, I started off with 30 initially, but then because of the launch party I'm having on top of launching my website, I thought it would be smart to double up because I don't want to run out like that in the first week. I mean, I guess it'll be good, but still I want to, I want to be safe. But um, yeah, so after planning and budgeting, once you figure out how much inventory you want to start with, you can start your ordering process. And you should have been doing some research as well on um, like once you figure out how much you wanna buy, write down the prices and everything for that, like how much it'll t it will total. And then do your research on what type of um, other packaging you want 
like um, bags, mailers, stuff like that, boxes, if you want some extravagant stuff, do your research, research on that and also the prices and um, you want to put that in your planning and budgeting too. But yeah, you want to go ahead and um, order your inventory, so your products and um, the packaging from the vendor. And then you want to go ahead and order your um, packaging for shipping. All right, y'all, excuse my face right here, but I just wanted to come and tell you guys that I got my shipping packaging from Amazon. Some people order from AliExpress or Paper Mart, but if you aren't really pressed about what your packaging, what your shipping packaging looks like, then you can order from USPS and theirs are actually free. So, yeah. If you are doing a business where you have to have a website and all that stuff or where you're online and you're going to be selling to people, you want to order your um, shipping as well. And um, while you're waiting on that, okay, this is another reason I love my vendor so much. Um, my lash vendor actually makes labels. So you know how they come with like the numbers and stuff on them for what style lash it is. They actually can print out labels for me. Um, they said the clear labels were $10 and then the white labels are free. I like free and I got white on my boxes so I don't mind white labels. Yeah, so my labels for my lashes are free. Like the names and stuff that I'm going to name them and it comes with my boxes and my lashes. Um, as far as my lip gloss, that vendor couldn't give me what I wanted as far as my labels on there because my colors are like rose gold, pink, blue and all that stuff but I definitely wanted rose gold labels on my lip gloss. Excuse me. But they didn't have that color. They only had, I think they said gold, black, white, pink, something like that. I don't know. Colors I didn't want because my main color is rose gold. So, um, I had to go elsewhere and find someone who could make labels. So you want to get that out the way as well. Get your measurements and all that stuff together. Um, take it to whoever you want to make your labels or if you can make them yourself. Like I said, I'm an advocate for making it yourself. You want to do it yourself, do it yourself. Save that money, girl. Save that money. But, um, yeah, I went to someone else to get my labels for my lip gloss made and you want to have all that stuff together as well so that when you get everything in you have it right there so it's not like you know you order your inventory oh shoot now i have to go buy labels like no go get your labels have it there ready waiting for you so that when you get your inventory you can just go like all right i got my labels already inventory Start labeling everything the labels really shouldn't take that long so you'll definitely get those before you get your actual inventory I'm telling you if you do the stuff in this order like you'll you'll be gravy you'll be good you'll be good stress-free um so next you want to go back to your book where you were writing down your planning and your budgeting how much you spent on um, your inventory from your vendor, how much you spent on labels, how much you spent on um, the shipping packaging, the bubble mailers, the little sheer bags, or however you want to send your stuff out. Um, and we didn't get to this part yet, but you want to factor in how much you spent on um, business cards as well business cards thank you cards whatever you're putting i mean whatever whatever you're giving with your product you want to take all of that into account and add it up to see how much you're going to be coming out of because that'll help you price your products after you go over all that and you have 
your total of what you're going to be coming out of for your launch. Launch, 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 your launch. Um, how much do you want to sell your products for? How much do you want to profit? How long will it take you to make the money you invested back? You want to think about all of that stuff. But what you don't want to do is try to make your money back like with the first um with the first sale let me put it that way that's like <laughs> oh man that's like okay i'm selling backpacks but i spent a thousand dollars on everything that i needed to start this business and I priced my backpacks at a thousand dollars. I don't know who gonna buy that backpack, sis, or bro. I I don't know who's gonna buy that. So, you want to take that into account as well. Be reasonable with your prices. Um, I did receive my packaging for shipping. Did I get all of it? Yeah, I got all of it. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. My um, my bubble mailers. I got my bubble mailers. Um, I have to pick up my labels tomorrow and that is it because I did not receive my lip gloss or lashes yet. So you guys, um, my packages are here. Um, like I said, I don't have my inventory yet as far as my lashes and my lip gloss goes. But I checked my email and these are my bubble mailers. So I'm gonna unbox these. So I got my blue metallic ones. Rose gold one. My big white one. Those are going to be for the really big orders. And then these are my holographic ones. are all of my colors so cute i can't wait to get to packaging oh i'm so excited i'm so excited y'all understand presentation is everything like it really is But yeah, you guys, if you guys been enjoying um, these last few episodes, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to your girl. So